hello viewers this is one bed sheet a single bed sheet single bed bed sheet so out of this i'm going to make pillow covers so i will share how to do that so this is a, a single side of the bed sheet what we have to do is from this part we have to measure 62 inches so I'll measure 62 inches here this is the border side from here we will measure 62 inches So we'll do a marking over here and the other side also you have to measure uh, 62 inches and cut this bed sheet from this side. If you want to make three pillow covers out of one single bed sheet then don't take 62 inches you just take 60 inches. So that the remaining part uh, we can make one more pillow. So here um, the width has to be minimum 20 inches. So if I take 62 inches over here then um, this part uh, will be waste. So that's the reason I will take here 60 inches and here uh, I, will, I will be getting 20 inches. Uh, width so that this part also I can make use uh, to make one more pillow cover so mark uh, here 60 inches not 62 if you want to make three pillows out of one bed sheet and then cut from here Now this part is ready now we will cut uh, we will make two folds of this part and cut from the center. You need to cut from the center and uh, make two parts. So these are two parts. Now I have taken one of the pieces of the best sheet and from here we have to measure 5 inches and cut this complete strip and this strip would be useful in order to adjust the length of the pillow Now this is the strip what I would be doing is this part this part I will be attaching the strip 
to increase the length. So here I will be attaching the strip to this part and then I will show you the next process. I stitched this part I attached the strip to this part and when you attach this after that give a press a stitch on the top so you could see a stitch from the front side so this part is attached to this and now the excess part I will cut So once this is done, from the inside part, just fold this now. This part we have to fold it like this so the distance of this part should be 5.5 inches so 5.5 inches uh, we have to keep the distance and we have folded this now this part we have to place it like this not from the top but leave two and a half inches distance from here to here and then place this part over here now give a stitch from here and also try sewing from this side so both the sides you have to uh, sew this uh, border parts now you could see I have stitched uh, this end and I have stitched the other end as well now what we are going to do is we will take the inside part outside while stitching the corners of this pillow make sure that this part has to be folded above this part so this is the top part this has to be folded above this part And then stitch from here likewise stitch from the other side now we have to measure one and a half inch from all the sides or you can take uh, more than one and a half inch but less than two inches
so like this from all the sides you need to stitch even from the top by giving one and half inches allowance and this is the front side of the pillow cover so mark one and half inch from all the sides and stitch a square now a uh, pillow is ready pillow cover is ready so I stitched uh, from all the sides by leaving a margin of one and a half inches. You can take uh, close to two inches but not exactly two inches. And this part will work uh, as uh, like a frill. Now let's put a pillow inside and see how it is. We'll use this part to take this top part inside of the pillow. So our pillow is ready. Like this you have to stitch like a ready-made pillow cover. And you can do it easily at home you can use single bed sheets to make uh, three pillows pillow covers out of it thank you for watching